I have no idea what we're gonna do with all this room. Those look fresh. Welcome to the new shop. We are gonna hit the ground running in this shop in this video. I finished the last round of hydro dipping last night. I cleared a set this morning. I have one more piece to clear tonight. In between coats of clear, I'm going to be continuing to weld these legs onto this bathtub. That was also no water. No, it's pretty good. It's actually pretty that good. doesn't look half as bad as I thought. No, Maybe that was done recently. Approximately four years of overspray. I got a little bit left to go. I am exhausted from moving today and scrubbing the floor and then doing this and I have to do parking slash security stuff at my family's haunted house. So I am done for the evening. We've got like 99.9% .9 of this shop moved out. Valve covers on the walls and then one table. Um, just stuff on the walls, a couple things on the floor. Oh, it's gonna be a long night, two days before Halloween. In about 30 minutes, this entire field will be full. And then about a, probably 40 minutes after that, that entire field will be full. This entire lot is full. That second lot is probably about a quarter of the way. How do we start the ultimate parking lot video? <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Just like that. <laughs> the end of the one we were just working on. Yeah. Absolutely insane. This is what four years of overspray. <laughs> that is wild. We have an absurd amount of organizing to do. So we got uh, the air compressor and the water heater in this bathroom. This is actually a bigger bathroom than they were previously in. And that bathroom is actually bigger than the bathroom I have to use now. And uh, I used it for the first time today and it's miserable. You can't, 
I'm not a very tall human and I can't even sit in there. So next on the agenda here is to turn this back room into some fashion of a spray booth. Some holes punched in the wall that I use my forehead for because it's very uh, robust and structurally, um, this part of my forehead just right into the wall is really good for making holes like that. So we got those. Also, I added these big boy locks because all these doors are a little uh, weird. So I added these gigantors and uh, no one's getting in here. So next uh, part of that, at least for now, is taking these blowers that I have to ventilate, giving them a little refresh. But like everything else, years and years of overspray has collected. And these actually aren't too bad because I do clean these um, semi-frequently. Uh, but these are pretty cool. These are just Harbor Freight dust collectors, but the blade is actually completely separate from the motor. And so none of the fumes go through there and therefore, um, in my opinion, it's safe to use. I'm gonna clean those up and we're gonna get all that kind of situmicated. It feels good to be back in this bad bamba jamba. <laughs> this I'm kind of excited about. I cut a piece of wood and I punched a hole in it. And I added one more hole in the drywall, as you saw. So this is our uh, little ventilation system. I'm gonna put filters here, and then there are filters on the back side before it goes in and out, so that will be great. Uh, this carpet needs to come up. Like I said, previous owner of this couch told me there were some sexual things that happened on it, so I'm gonna try and throw it away and burn it without getting diseases. Knocked that out with my face. That was cool. This front room, these shelves are only for hydro dip parts. Probably got like two hours left. I just got some cleaning to do and some disgusting carpet and couch to remove. Guys, I have no idea what we're going to do with all this room. I have two trucks in here, the Miata, the Bug, and the Jeep. And there's room to walk everywhere. Those look fresh. Had, had to break in the shop. I mean, it was a slippery floor and I'm bad at, okay, yeah, whatever. So, a um, couple little things left to do, but tomorrow I should be able to start working, which is awesome. One of the most exciting things, I can fit three of these tables in here. What that means, I've always been limited to two tables. I've always been limited to whatever I can fit on those two tables is what I'm able to paint, dip, clear. Now I have three, which is huge. Those earth roamer interiors I do take up two full tables. So now I can do one and a half basically, which will cut the time in half. If I've got four sets a month, it's just, it, it's wonderful. That sucks like real good. It sucks real nicely. I don't know anything that sucks as good as those two things. Top notch sucking. I taped off that glass so it doesn't get ruined. Taped off that glass so it doesn't get ruined. I'm gonna take these out. We're gonna start working on the Jeep. And so this is kind of what I'm thinking is gonna be like, the most open area to work on a car that we are like dedicated to working on. Over here, we're still gonna have room to work on everything. These are the cars that we can move or that do move, but we can still work on it. Like I could pull the bug out and basically have as much room as the Jeep. I could pull this off the wall a little bit and have room to work on it. God forbid we do anything extensive to that in the near future. Little, little organization things, but overall everything is where I want it. This is kind of perfect. <laughs> if, I, I don't think I could have planned this better. I don't think I could have like thought of this late. Like it's just, it works super, super well. 
and I think I'm gonna be able to get a lot of extra work done. Um, just that third table in here is really cool. The air compressor, water heater, got plenty of room where I put those. Tons of storage up there. We're not full. Now, the other shop got clutter. I'm happy to say it took a couple years of me working in that clutter to really appreciate no clutter. So this is gonna stay just like this. So next video, we'll get back into the cars and I'm gonna start moving, like I said. If I don't do what I'm supposed to in this shop, this is a giant waste of money. Everything I just did was a huge waste of time. So now is a really good time to, to go for it and make some stuff happen. So my focus right now, I think is gonna be the Jeep. I'm gonna try and knock that out because it needs to be done. Would love to procharge that because that's a quick, quick, easy project and that's you know probably a pretty ridiculous amount of power. So that'd be fun to do anything with. This old school body, we'll do that when I find a body that's not crazy expensive. And then the bug, I just, uh, I need to learn how to drive it. There's a couple little things I'd like to get for it to make it easier for me to drive, but ultimately I just need more seat time. Um, beside the point, thank you for watching. I appreciate your guys' time. Let me know what you think of the shop. Let me know what you think of the projects, what I should tackle. If you guys have any ideas for that, if you guys have ideas for the bug, and body suggestions, ideas for that, you know, you know the drill. Help me brainstorm. I appreciate your guys' time. Uh, next Tuesday will be the next video. Sorry, I was a day late on this one. So next Tuesday, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys.